Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Childress. I'm a clinical psychologist in Pasadena, California. I specialize in treating ADHD spectrum disorders, uh, angry behavioral problems in children, uh, parenting issues, and family relationship issues. Today I'm going to talk with you about disciplining children with Asperger's disorder. The first thing in working in a, with a child with Asperger's disorder is to make sure they really have Asperger's disorder. This diagnosis gets used a lot for sort of an other category by many people. That the child doesn't quite fit uh, oppositional stuff and they, they, they don't quite fit autism kind of stuff and they don't quite know where they fit and so they give them a diagnosis of Asperger's. So that's the, the first um, caution, is make sure the child has Asperger's. Asperger's is along the autistic spectrum and autism is essentially a relationship disorder. Uh, now autism is a relationship disorder and a disorder of communicating Asperger's is a relationship disorder, but they have language, they have communication. Um, in working with a child with Asperger's, I would want to evaluate four primary systems. The first and foremost and primary system I'm going to evaluate is the sensory motor processing system. That uh, there's frequently, uh, my clinical practice and, and my experience, frequently a lot of sensory motor dysregulation problems um, in children with autism spectrum, Asperger's, and ADHD spectrum disorders. Um, and, and so I want to get a good workup of that. Uh, occupational therapists do this, um, and the, the phrase that I would be looking for from an occupational therapy evaluation is sensory integration issues. The second uh, place I'd want to work with a child with Asperger's is on the relationship systems. I want to evaluate how, is there actually a relationship dysfunction? And if so, what is it? Okay, and that kind of moves me as to whether the child is really Asperger's or if we have something else potentially going on um, that doesn't fit neatly into our little boxes. Um, I want to look at language and communication systems. Um, not only that the child has language or the language is dysfunctional, but how are they using language? Um, are they using it to express themselves or are they using it to regulate social interaction? The regulation of social interaction is a much more complicated kind of uh, uh, use of language and communication. Is it just language or do they have a broader context of communication uh, that's involved? And finally I want to evaluate their emotion regulation systems. How do they process emotions? And, and does it lock them up? Does it freeze them? Do they move into tantrums? Or do they have access to a, a ability to, to flexibly deal with their emotions? In terms of recommendations for working with kids with autism, the first is to focus treatment on the relationship. Okay, rather than the behavior, the relationship is the primary dysfunction in, in Asperger's and autism spectrum, and so that's where the treatment uh, should be focused as well. Um, particularly around a, the psychological connection system, what's technically called intersubjectivity, um, but around that connection system that children have with us. The other thing is that children with Asperger's do well with structure. Typically, the child imposes the structure, and so parents don't have to worry quite so much about giving them structure. Uh, a little, sometimes they're a little too structured, um, but structure is helpful to, to help keep them organized. Uh, another recommendation for working with children with Asperger's is to, within that context of structure, is to provide them with minor breach and repair sequences. These are minor breaches in the relationship that, that in which they must incorporate us into their activity, and then we fix that again so that we're back in tune with them. And these these minor breach and repair sequences, um, Stanley Greenspan called them playful intrusions. So rather than letting the child stay focused on their own activity, we kind of playfully get in there and intrude into their experience to where they have to integrate us into their activity. Um, Ed Tronic out at Harvard uh, referred to this as creating thickness to the relationship by having them, forcing them to integrate us into their activity. And finally, in treating children with autism spectrum or Asperger's disorder, what I'd want to do is activate the joyful emotions. Joyful emotions organize all the other brain systems. And so we want to find where their joy is, where their laughter is, and, and get that up into their activity and into their relationships. And that helps use a number of different brain systems and bring them into or, organized functioning. Um, so those are my recommendations in working with children with Asperger's. Uh, for more information, you can go to my website. Thank you very much.